Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and this one is on how to play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening and all the things you'll need will be down in the description and if the links don't work, join my Discord server. Now like, subscribe and comment down below if this works so other people know this guide is real and let's get right into the video. Alright, so you can get regular Yuzu from yuzumu.org and it's just a basic installer you can also get Yuzu Early Access uh, on that installer for $5 on their Patreon. If you don't want to pay the $5, the link down below will get you it for free. Be sure to join my Discord server because the links will get updated more frequently. And to chat with others. Also, if you need help and if something doesn't work, join my Discord server. The comments is not a good way to ask a question because I get a lot of comments. So yeah. Okay, so after you've got your regular Yuzu or the Yuzu EA zip file which you unzipped into uh, this folder. You can open Yuzu or Yuzu.exe in uh, my case and it will say components are missing, key, blah, 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 blah. Click OK on it. After that, you can click no on here or yes, whatever you want. Now, as you can see, there's a big plus button uh, and it says double click to add a new folder to the game list. So uh, you're going to select the folder that the game file is in. So you double click it and you find your game folder where the file is in, not the file itself, the folder. And you click select folder and this will be empty because as the error said, we don't have the keys. So what we're going to do is go to file, open Yuzu folder. And in here you'll have some folders and we're going to look for the one called keys. If you don't have a keys folder, just create a folder with exactly the name keys, small letters only. Now double click and drag and drop the prod keys file in here, which will be down in the description or in my discord server. So after you put the keys in, we're going to close Yuzu and come back to it. All right, so I have multiple games. Uh, if you want guides on the other games, check out my channel. I have multiple videos on them or just join my Discord server for links of the other ones. Now, as you can see, my games are in here. Uh, if yours don't show up because you have folders in folders, right click in my case, Yuzu games and check scan subfolders. If it still doesn't show up, you either don't have the game file or it's like a zip file and you still have to extract it. But yeah, after you've got this right, we're going to the emulation tab. Hit configure and in here, you don't really have to change anything. I will change my theme to dark, colorful because I like my eyes. So basically I got back here again after clicking OK. Uh, under CPU, Make sure to put this on unsafe and make sure that you have all of these checked. If your emulation is unstable, put it back to accurate. But trust me, this can help with a lot of things. Under graphics, for this game, you actually want to choose Vulkan. But in general, I recommend choosing OpenGL if you have shader cache, which we do. And the link will be down in the description. But yeah, for this game, we're going to choose Vulcan anyway. I can show you how to change it per game, which I will be doing. But for the guide, I'm going to choose Vulcan and I'm going to choose my RTX 3060, which is my graphics card. Uh, if it does not show any graphics card here, your system might be too bad. I did make a video on minimum specs, so check that out. Uh, I'm not going in depth here. Uh, for the rest, use this shader cache, use asynchronous GPU emulation, and use NVDEC emulation. All have to be turned on. And under advanced, I just turn on everything. But for this game, assembly shaders are only OpenGL, so it won't work with uh, Vulkan, which we're going to use right now. But you can still uh, turn them all on. If your emulation does not work, turn off the middle two because they're experimental and accuracy level should be on high. Okay, so for audio, I don't really have anything to say except I disable audio stretching. And for controls, it's basically already set up and I'm gonna choose my Xbox controller for this. And I always choose dual Joy-Cons. And yeah, since it's already set up, you're basically fine. Make sure connect controller is checked on the bottom left here 
And you can also turn off vibration or change the percentage. Same with uh, motion. If you have like a PS4 controller or something that has like motion capture stuff, you can uh, fix that. But yeah, this is basically all the settings we need. So we're going to click OK. OK, so if you chose OpenGL as your render method, you just right click on the game and click Open Transferable Shader Cache. It will open the folder with the shader cache and you can just drag and drop the shader cache from down below in there and replace the file. Now for people who run OpenGL on all their other games, just right click on Link's Awakening, click Properties, go to Graphics and choose Vulkan instead of the Global, which in my case is OpenGL, and then click OK. Now as you can see the game runs. You can uh, pick up chickens, etc. It's a basic Zelda game. So yeah, it could be a little glitchy. I don't know. I haven't played much so far. Sorry for the mostly blurred screen, but otherwise Nintendo will claim this video. But yeah, again, leave a like, subscribe, join the Discord to talk to me and others, or if you need help, or for the links if those don't work down below. And uh, yeah, comment down below to let people know that it's real. Uh, I don't know if I already said it, but sub, like, Peace out, have a great day or night, and uh, see you in the next video or live stream. Follow my Twitch, thank you, bye.